Hello guys and girls and welcome to episode one of the brand new season of Oxygen Not Included. What the heck is going on? Why do we have so much stuff built already? This is episode one. What? It's up. Oh, we've got beds. We've got stuff. We've got things everywhere. Ah, yes. I know what's going on here. We are in our same base, the intergalactic timeline base. I'm sure it wasn't called that before. Didn't it have a different name? I'm sure it did. Anyway, I can't remember. Yes, we are continuing with this base, and there is a good reason for doing so. The tubular update is now out. Let's let our dupes run around. And we now have access to tubes. If you haven't seen it in uh, the video that I released earlier on today, go and check that out. Um, we need to build some research stations and supercomputers because, yeah, there's more research that needs to be done. The one thing that I forgot to mention in my everything in the new update video was the research that you need to do to get the tubes. Duh, Biffa, forgot, never mind. Um, but yes, we are going to set up some tubes in our base and they take plastic. Um, tubes let you travel long distances. Devon is asleep in bed. Joshua's asleep in bed. Otto's asleep in bed. They've got pop teardrums. Oh, we have so much oxygen. Pop teardrums. Stress change plus 20 a cycle. Wears off in 0.4 cycles. Ah. Okay. We obviously have so much oxygen we could do with trying to get this uh, through to some other places, couldn't we? That would be good. We've got loads of oxygen down here. Huh. I'll tell you what we need to do is we need to have these things go off when the pressure reaches a certain level, don't we? That is something we haven't done at all. We've just continued making it because we need hydrogen. What is hydrogen doing? Hydrogen runs down here. It bypasses that. It runs along here. It goes down there. It runs along here. And we're using it to cool down this area here. We are actually backing it up quite a lot. Um... Did we not have a hydrogen place making... Yes, we've got one here as well. Although that doesn't seem to be making... Ah, max gas pressure that's reaching. I think that's sort of the level that it's going to get to. That is 1,800, 2,000. Yeah, we might just have to leave it as it is. We do need the hydrogen. But anyway, we need to really increase our plastic production. Particularly for getting to places far away, the tubes will be just ideal. We've got like this area down here where we're making plastic. We have 1,847 plastic, which is absolutely fantastic. We're burning through this oil down here, something chronic. So we're going to have to set up some good oil production. But we've got lots of pockets of oil. I mean, we could open this up here, let that come down into here. In fact, that might be something that we could do there we go uh, one of the other things they've added to the game because anytime soon we're going to start getting petroleum coming through here um do you know what we're going to do is we're just going to set something up here before they start yeah let's have a look at this so even though we've got both of these going they're still pretty slow at keeping everything running i think it's because we've got this going haven't we oh no that's not running either yeah, power's becoming a bit of an issue down here. Let's enable that again, get the power going, and hopefully that'll work. What I was going to add down here was some sort of filter. Uh, oh yeah, we'll have plenty of power on there. Um, let's just have a look, and then we'll get our research done. So yeah, I didn't want to start a whole new base again. Liquid filter. Because it would take us ages to get to the plastic thing. What I want to do is get the petroleum to go up into there. So if we just start with a liquid bridge first... Uh, that can go over there to there. Uh, we can have a liquid filter in here. Um, so it's going to go in that side, out that side. Oh, I put that thing the wrong way around. Let's cancel that and do it again. Uh, plumbing. Let's just slow things down a minute. Right. Yeah, that's better. That's going to go in there and out there. So let's add that on. So any petroleum will just get added to that line. Yep, thank you very much. And then our filter we'll put down here. Come on. Please let me keep the thing that I clicked on. Thank you very much. There we go. So we'll have that, say, there. Or here. That'll be fine. 
And that should be it. And then we can readjust the pipes as we go along. Let's add some power into that. Any old normal wire will be fine. Yep, excellent. We'll attach to there. And then we're going to need some pipes. So let's get that one going there. And what we're going to want to do is go through there and then divert it. So once they've built that... Yep, it's all on a nine. They can reach it. Yeah, good. Oh, there we go. Let's get this done. You're going to pick that up and build it for us? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let's go back home and see how our research is going. Good. Right, let's have a look. What new research do we have? We have transit tubes, and that needs two types of research. So let's get that added. Excellent. And that will work on here as well. They're waiting for water. Let's get an eight. Let's get an eight. So I'm actually quite pleased that we're back here again because there was a lot of things that I wanted to do to improve the base. Um, so we can do that. We can add more bedrooms in. We can open up some more space. You know, there's lots of things we can do. <laughs> that sounded like two very lame things, didn't it? More beds, more space. No, I've got more plans than that. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the increases in performance as well. One of the other things is making sure all our gas doesn't escape. <laughs> because the amount of comments I see for that. I hear the comments about the gas escaping. I look at how much gas is going into these and we're running it fine. And I think, yeah, I don't need to fix it yet. So I don't bother. <laughs> but I will. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay, how are we going down here? Right, okay. So let's just take a look at this. Uh, we're going to want this to output. Which way round are we going to do this? Only put oil there, everything else up to there. And I'm hoping, I mean, we've got water in here as well, unfortunately. So it's either going to break, it's going to break one machine or another until this water goes. Unless we can mop up this water. Not on the floor. No, it's not going to let us. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We will get that to send through oil. Oh, what's it called? Crude oil. Uh, there. Good. And then we'll attach a pipe to that. Um, so that's going to go in there, and then crude oil will go out there, and then everything else will go the other way. So that means we're going to have to detach that one there. Good. And then what will happen is we'll get a little bit of water going in with the oil, which will probably break one of these machines, but they shouldn't be too bad to fix up. So hopefully they can do that. Then we'll open this over here, let all of that down. There's loads. Look at that. So much oil in there. I mean, this oil is going to last a long time. Eventually that pipe can move down here. Oh, here we go. Look, they're doing it. Excellent. We can deconstruct that one as well. There we go. Very good. And then as we get to petroleum, the petroleum will just go over up to there. Excellent. Good, good, good. I mean, I may just end up moving that pump. I don't know, over here somewhere? Because that can come into there. We could dig that through to there. That could come out. and We could dig that out through to here. Yeah. So we've got plenty of oil to keep us going, which is fine, and plenty of plastic at the moment. So what I'm thinking is, is to replace this ladder here with transit tubes, um, which would be good. I don't think we've got the research yet. Do we have two researchers still? Yes, we do have two researchers. Good. So they will work away on that. Yes, I was just saying, I'm looking forward to the new uh, additions to the game that will help the game run a lot more smoothly. They showed on their live stream a game that was absolutely full of storage compactors everywhere. And it was running at such a slow rate. The frames per second was terribly, terribly slow. And then they showed it with the new additions that haven't quite all been added to the game yet. And it ran like smooth, smooth. It was amazing. Uh, you've still got half your suits on now. I just saw you. So I'm looking forward to when that's totally added to the game. Because as you can see, I don't know how easy it is to be able to tell. But if I'm scrolling around, particularly in fast mode, it's a bit jerky. If I pause the game, it's fine. Um, you know, so that's why I tend to pause when I'm moving large distances to try and sort of help with that. But anyway, what we're going to try and do is have it set up up here to run down here. Just to speed this up for maybe... Maybe from where they come out here, we'll have a little station. We need a space that's four high. So this here actually could be perfect. They could come in with their suit. They could get in the tube. They could go down the tube. What's the matter with you? <laughs> get out. Leave. Um, yeah, so I think we're probably going to do that. We could actually clear out this space. Is there any pipes or anything there? No. So if we get rid of that and dig out that, this would be a perfect spot for our tube. It could run down here. 
They don't run over ladders, so we may actually run it to the side and just leave these ladders in. We'll rejigger this a bit, run it down here, into here, then they can pop out and work on this area here. So we can sort of dig out some of that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and they can dig out some of that. So when they get to that, they can do that. I'm wondering whether we could just sweep up some of this oil. Oh, they're going to start working on the carbon dioxide again, aren't they? If they stayed in there, that would be great. At some point, we need to set up a little trap for those, don't we? But anyway, as long as our plastic production keeps going up and the temperature in here stays down, food is fine, that's fine. Stress has got a little bit high, probably because of the... Oh, circuit overload. Ah! Right, why is that overloading? Potential power consumed 1.68 kilowatts. Ah, oh, we haven't got our final connection there, have we? I think we're going to need to put another one of these transformers over here for this section. I don't think having a wire coming out of both sides is a good way to do it. Let's deconstruct that wire. Uh, we were using heavy conductive wire and we'll put that in when somebody comes here to do that for us. Just to see whether that makes a difference. Thank you. We'll go there to there. And then we'll add a normal wire the other side. I'm thinking I might have done that before and that's why it sort of changed it. Is it going to be done? Yeah, there we go. We're getting it done already. Good, good, good. And then if I do that... Okay, it sort of adds it out the side. So then let's see what that wire's going to do. 1.68, yeah, it's it's counting it as all being connected to all of this. So we're going to need another transformer. Uh, we could just stick one up here. That wouldn't be too bad, would it? So let's maybe do that. Let's come out of this mode. Let's deconstruct that. So I'm actually glad we can con continue with this, uh, with this base because... How wide are they? One, two, three. Yeah, we'll do that. Ah, probably nine. There we go. Because to start again from scratch and to build up to all of this sort of production, I mean, it's taken us, what, 20 episodes of the last season to get up to this? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm glad we can sort of skip that. How's research going? There we go. Wait for the save to finish. Oh, we're nearly there for the tubes. That's good. But, yeah, check out my Everything New video because we did some tube science and that was good fun. We're testing out what the tubes can do. They're just never going to sweep this up, are they? There's just, like, stuff everywhere to sweep. <laughs> They're just not going to do it. So much other stuff to do. There we go. They're doing that for me. Just making these out of sandstone because why not? Doesn't really matter. Uh, power transformer. Let's make that gold. Uh, if we go that way, then we can add a heavy watt wire going in. There we go. And then we only need a normal thin wire going down here. We don't need to use the heavy, uh, the new conductive wire stuff. Uh, we'll have that just go up into there. That's going to say they can't reach it, isn't it? Um, I'll tell you what, we'll have it go up into there instead. Let's cancel that. Yeah, there we go. Just so they can get to it and it's no issue. Good. Research complete. Transit tube, transit tube access, transit tube crossing. So that's down in your base tab. Transit tube, transit tube access, needs refined metal. And the transit tube crossing wasn't actually working when I tested it out earlier on today. I'm sure that'll be fixed by the time we get to making them. These are made with plastic. 100 plastic per square. Oh my goodness me. So that is going to take a heck of a lot of plastic. So, I mean, that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 2,000 plastic up to there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, just roughly. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 4,000 plastic. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 6,000 plastic. Yes. So we've got 2,500. So we're getting there. And we just need some refined metals. I mean, that's fine. We can we can do it. 
Uh, now that's the last research done, <laughs> we could we could deconstruct these again. Oh, I tell you what we're going to do this time. It's just disable them um, because there may be some more research that will pop up at some point. But at the moment, we have everything. So that's good. Please don't fall asleep. That's not good. Everybody feeling okay? Nobody's running off to our farmer chamber that we put in. No, we're fine. We're doing all right. Still got the room bonus on that. So I may change these out and have farmer chambers in there. But, I mean, we've got stress. What are these set to? 35. Yeah, so we're doing okay. Let's whiz back down here again. Oh, that is full up. That is full up. Still not quite getting these both running at the same time. So what I'm hoping is once we get the transit tubes done, it will mean that things like petroleum stuff will just get done quicker and it will mean things will start backing up more. Oh. I completely forgot we were dumping this out into here. Indeed we are. This could probably all do with being swept up as well, couldn't it? Uh, mopped up. Um, we'll put that on an 8. We'll mop that all up because it's a bit of a mess. Um, what's this wire doing here? Well, that wire was our connection up to the top that we're not using. I mean, that's probably taking up power, isn't it? Um, shall I... I'm going to take this wire apart. I don't think we're going to use it for anything at the moment. And I'm going to take that apart, or shall I leave it there? I'm just going to deconstruct the wire going in. Just because I'm thinking that that power coming out there is possibly causing a problem. Because power will run down. You've got too many batteries. They have like a net loss. So yeah. Oh, there we go. You're sweeping up. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got... Is there any petroleum in there? It's all polluted water. So if you can just mop all that up, that would just be great. There we go. If you could mop this up. And there's oil there. So we need to drop that oil somewhere into here would be good if we can just dump that over the edge um, that would mean we're going to need a bottle emptier for our oil and that can just go there and just drop our oil into there yeah we'll see how that goes drop a bit more of that up there we go thank you very much excellent so how's this going over here oh yeah there we go look it's all connected up so now we can disconnect uh, this one coming out of there and that should be fine. That should now keep that all nice and separate. Thank you very much. There we go. And also we can cancel that one there. Yep, there we go. Good. So that's that's running well. Let's just check that wire there. 720 watts. Yep, no problem at all. Um, so why is that not constantly running? It's got plenty of petroleum. It's got plenty of power. That's running okay. Yeah, it's going. It's going fine. It just seems to stop for some reason. Oh, petroleum's finally backing up. Yeah, look at that. Excellent. That is exactly what we want to see. And that means they don't have to run that so much. And that also means that our power, look, is constantly going. Because everything's full up. Uh, there's no settings on that so that will literally run or not run as it's needed oh that is perfect finally everything's going so that water's coming in that's fine this dirty water's going out that's still fine good so if that's not running all the time that means things are going to be a lot cooler around here excellent i'm just wondering whether we need another storage down here for polluted ice and stuff i bet uh, let's just put a couple up there. I bet our other ones up over here are full up. And that's a long way for them to run as well. Yeah, look. I don't know what these ones are holding. Agriculture. Oh, okay. Body temperature. Five degrees, two degrees. Oh, it's warming up in there. What temperature do they need? Minus 55 to minus 5. Yikes. Minus 7, minus... I don't know what's causing the heat in there, to be honest. Is it just that this isn't running enough? It's backing up with hydrogen. That should be okay. Oh, well, we'll see how that goes. 
if they can get these done. I know I've got a lot of things set to nine. I will go through and adjust that. I mean, that doesn't need to be set to nine. That'll just work. Those can be five. They work fine. Uh, that can be set to nine. Oh, these can just come up a bit. Let's set these to eight. We want to get these sort of things done. That's done. Let's put in here liquefiable. Uh, everything. And then just set it to eight. And we'll copy those settings and set that there. And that might just help starting to clear up some of the stuff we've got around here. Also, that's full up. So if we just set another couple down here for normal stuff. Oh, no, we're going to have our transit there. Oh, wow, we're getting natural gas coming in here. Hmm. That's coming from one of these machines, isn't it? Is it the polymer press? I can't remember what it is. Uh, outputs carbon dioxide. No. Is it the... Uh, there it is. Petroleum generator. Carbon dioxide, polluted water, power, water, heat. What is it? Is it the oil refinery? Natural gas, the oil refinery. So that's sort of going up there. And they must be coming round here. Unless it's this natural gas here falling down. Because there's a lot of it escaping from up there, isn't there? Maybe that's what it is. I'm not overly concerned, to be honest, about what's in this area, gas-wise. So, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Uh, that loop, is it? Oh, that's backed up nicely. Oh, good, good, good. I wonder whether that means we can add in another petroleum generator. We're getting so much power... And we're really just not using the, the full amount of power that we're getting here, are we? But I'm thinking we can definitely add another petroleum press. Polymer press. Why are you not running? Okay, you've got power. You've got petroleum. And the gas pipes are working fine. But I definitely want to add another one of those in. I'm thinking just along here. And we can have it run on the top. We can sort of move that a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of those. And I think we can build it almost directly above this one. Sort of almost. How big would it be? And double up what we're doing. That would just be great. Uh, how much power does that use? Out of interest. It uses 240 watts. Yeah, we've got plenty coming off of that wire, haven't we? 720 left. Yeah, we've got space. We've got space to breathe. Um, so let's have a look. If that went there, it'd have to be lower down. There. If we sort of jiggled this around a bit. Yeah, if we just deconstruct that... And then try and sort of copy what we've got here. But we'll do the opposite. We've done this before when we wanted water to drop down. So we'll go like that. Then mesh. Like that. Then that one. Then mesh. And that's probably as much as we need to do, isn't it? We'll get them to do that. And then that tile that we want to stick back in. Heavy pressure valve. Uh, let's make it through here. We can sort of add that over here somewhere. Yeah, that'll be fine there. And then we'll add gas pipes to that. And we can sort of hook these both in. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. That's it. Can you deconstruct that? Uh, I don't suppose you can probably get there, can you? Annoyingly... Let's add some ladders in. There we go. And then we're sort of going to put it... Oh, no, hang on a sec. No, I don't want ladders there. How can I make it so they can get up there without messing all of this around? Oh, okay, you've done it anyway. Thanks. Are you going to have to get out of there? <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, good. Okay, we'll just leave it like that then. So let's pop that in there. Let's hook this bad boy up and double... Mm, how should we do this? Let's just go like that and double our plastic production. That's what we need to do. That's going to come out there. Yep, you're working again. And we also need liquid pipes. What are we using? Insulated 
pipes of something. I can just hook into there. Good. So what are we up to, plastic-wise? 2,697. We are not doing too bad at all. Still not sure why that is stopping and starting. It doesn't need anybody to come and actually use it, does it? That's the thing. It should just work of it on its own accord. Plastic steam. Mm, yeah. Not entirely sure, but anyway. How much plastic do we have lying on the ground? 2,540. Nobody's picking it up. <laughs> it's just lying there. Which actually isn't very good because that could just melt, couldn't it? Really don't want our plastic lying around. I mean, that's quite cold there. Let's put that there and try and get that to hold our plastic and see if we can get them to actually pick it up. reach all of that? Probably not. Dig out. A bit of that. Yeah, get to that when you need to. Good. So that can go back down again. Well, at least we're going to get more plastic anyway. So I'm pleased with that. That will drip down there and the same effect will happen. It will drip down, hit that block, then run either side and it will cool down this as well. So to be honest, this here could probably do with being a normal tile. Because we don't want it running that way. We want want it running this way. So if we change that out. There we go. Plastics. Yeah, we'll do that. And then if some of this runs that way, it will just run down into here anyway. So is that one finished? Yeah, let's put in here plastic. And set that as a nine. And pick up all the plastic that's lying around. Let's mop up some more of this water as well. There we go. Clean things up a bit. Come on, people. And did we put any more storage in for normal stuff? I don't think we have yet. Just to get rid of some of this. Uh, we've got liquefiable. Let's put in raw mineral as well. And see if they'll tidy up a bit more. Good. Oh, no power. Seriously, what? Huh? It's got everything it needs. Why is it stopping? Generator idle. The power source is idle. What? <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I've got an automation thing down here that's turning it on and off to do with the temperature. Oh, that's what's slowing it all down. I was trying to sort of regulate it if the water got too hot and all that sort of thing. I've got to be honest. I don't really want to do that. Um... So, let me just... Uh, should I deconstruct that or should I just deconstruct a wire? Let's just deconstruct a wire coming off of that. Yeah, thanks. Because I don't want to regulate all of this. I want it just running all the time. Because otherwise, that's, things will turn off and it stops. See, that, that's off at the moment, <laughs> which is annoying. There we go. Now it's all kicked in again. Yeah, I'm not overly concerned about that. We can get rid of that water. Oh, here we go. Let's have a quick look down here. That is going to start grabbing this petroleum. And possibly that polluted water. Yeah, we'll need to rejigger this soon. There we go. It's, it's removed. Uh, I think actually we need to just remove the automation wires from those sockets. Otherwise, there we go. Otherwise, it stops it that way. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Should be a little switch down here. Allow to be worked through automation or not. I don't know. In case you want to just do what I've done. But that's fine. That's working okay. So that will keep the power going. That is going to beef up our plastic. 2,800, we need 6,000 to do what we want to do, which is, can we build down here to start things off? Let's have a look. No, we need 400 fine metal. Let's get this going. Let's... I, I don't want to do it on continuous, because if I forget, <laughs> it'll constantly make it, and that would just be a disaster. Uh, we also need to start digging out some of these. Are we going to go... I reckon we can't cross ladders. That's the thing. 
So if we do it this side and it goes up here, it can whiz around there. It can then go up here. But it can't go through there easily. So then it's going to have to be this side. It might just be that we need to remove a couple of ladders. They will jump over the top. But we're going to start it here. So they're going to come in, get their suit, jump in the tube, and then whiz to work down here. I think that's the perfect use of our tube straight away. So I think it's going to have to cross over, come down this side, go along there, come down this side, and then jump over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig out everything up there. Uh, and up this side's fine. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then when we've got enough more mineral 400 refined 200 and something or other copper yeah we want the gold to be beefed up it's annoying that this has to be manually worked i wonder whether to add another metal refinery in just to speed things up but i mean that lets out heat as well does it it takes 1.2 kilowatts of power Heat 80 watts. I am very much concerned about the heat. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this isn't being cooled. Look, that's running out the back. And it's not. It's just basically going straight through and not cooling. So we need to change this around. That's not good. Uh, let us stop there. Let's deconstruct that mesh tile. So we want mesh in the middle, basically. Good gravy. If I hadn't noticed that, that could have been a bit of a disaster. Thank you very much. We want mesh there, and then we want normal tile either side. So there, and there. Which means then we need to swap this around, because this water's going to run through there. So let's deconstruct that mesh tile, and put it in there. Yep, so we want the mesh tile to the side. there thank you very much and then that when it drips down will run over call that drip down there run over call that drip down there yeah good phew where is all this water coming from oh is it that metal refinery does that drop out nasty water i'd completely forgotten about that effects heat where is it coming from is it just things melting <laughs> i'm not entirely sure um Nine, nine. What are you waiting for? Gold. Yeah, you go. You're building okay. We've got plenty of gold amalgam. So while they're doing that, we can put in our first. The only other thing up here is power that I'm worried about. I mean, we've got. It's going to take 480 watts. It's going to need to fill up quite a lot. 840, 860. We might need to try and run another thick wire off of this through another transformer. Maybe up there. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. As always, let's put in our transit tube access. Woohoo! That's going to go there. Yep, yeah, then our tube's going to go up like this, run across there, and go down here. That is the plan. So actually, we can start doing that. Woohoo! There we go. We're going to need to deconstruct that ladder. Oh, that's going to mean... No, that's going to mean two ladders are missing there. And they're not going to be able to get down. I think we just need to remove that door. We don't need that door, do we? We've got two doors up here. Yeah, we'll deconstruct that door and we'll put another ladder in there. What's going on? They're all asleep. Wake up, my dupes. We've got work to be done. There we go. Another day has passed. Yeah, if you can deconstruct that for me. We'll put that in there. Oh, man. 100 plastic each. We're not out of plastic. What? <gasps> what? What's happened to our plastic? Oh, hang on. Look, it says 3,057 kilograms of plastic. Huh? 
So why is that saying zero kilograms of plastic? That's not right, is it? <laughs> uh, well, at least it's still there. Is that going to get finished? Yeah, please finish that. Well, that's just weird, isn't it? Insufficient resources. What do you? Why are you suddenly? Oh, is everything stopped again because of no power? Well, you got power. It's just dupes need to come and work it. Okay, we're, we're using up a lot more of this now. We've got those two going. So it seems like you can't store plastic. Oh, it's counting it again. There we go. That was weird. That was weird. Oh, they built the tubes. They built the thing. Uh, let's get some transit tubes. So we need to sort of bring them across here. Down there. And just go as far as we can. This is just going to keep going. Yeah, we're going to have to go round. Awaiting plastic. Okay, well you build as many of those as you can. And see how we go. This is going to take... Uh, 480. Let's have a look on here. 480 watts. I don't think we're going to actually just hook it onto this wire here. 840 potential power consumed. No. 860. No. We're going to need another... Another one of these somehow to connect. This is getting messy up here. Could we just put one up here? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's put a power transformer here. We'll leave a bit of space so we can see what's going on. Uh, we'll have a wire going into... Into there. And then a heavy watt wire going into... Well, let's just think what we've got here. We've got... That's jumping over. Oh, actually, we can come out of there. Look, we've got that one going out and going into there. So that's fine. We can do that. Good. So that'll give us the power that we need. As always, it's all on a nine. Uh, the graphics look like these are built already, but they're not. They built them, you can see, up to there. I mean, if we actually get it to a point where they can jump out, they will start using them as soon as this fills up with power. We don't have to get all the way to the end. And we don't need a transit tube to come back. We can just have one to come down, but that's fine. I wonder whether to dig this out here and let this run down. So what's that? 0 0.5, 9.3. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to get them to dig out. That, 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 and that. And let this run down to here. Hang on, let's just... We'll cancel the rest of those. Cancel those. No, we'll leave that. Whoa, that's suddenly spreading a lot further than you thought it would. What was in there? <laughs> that was weird. Oh, there we go. It's going to... I was hoping that was going to melt a bit more, but maybe not. Yeah, we're going to need to start pumping that water out at some point. Um, okay. Is this built up to the end? It is. How much plastic do we have left? 247. Woohoo! So let's get this one going down the side here. Up to there. Oh, there you look. It's a slightly different colour. In fact, I'm going to just draw it all the way down. And then it's going to come across here. So we're going to get rid of that ladder. And then it's going to come across there. Like this. Oh, now I've got no plastic. It won't let me even draw it in. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so they're waiting for plastic for that. Oh, there we go. I paused it, didn't mean to. So they'll go up there. How's the power going? Oh, they've still got to build that. Can they reach that unreachable build? Oh, I thought so. Wait for the game to kick in. There we go. We'll add that in. Cool, cool, cool. That is... There we go. They're running around. Oh, food. How's that going? Meal, lice, life, low frost bun. Yeah, that's going okay. Don't know why you complain you were hungry. And what I want to do as well is areas like this, I want it to be possible that they can stay in an area like this. They can have access to food. They can have access to the loo. And they don't always have to run back. Because at the minute, a lot of them are running backwards and forwards. Uh, thinking of that, uh, what am I looking for? Plumbing. We could just add a little outhouse down here just to help with that because we don't have one. There we go. Yeah, we're running, we're burning through this stuff, aren't we? We are burning through it. 
which means that this needs to be set maybe to an eight. Yeah, maybe that was a bit too much having another one of these on there. How much is an oil refinery? Outputs petroleum, five kilograms a second. That takes 3,000 grams a second. So there's 2,000 grams a second left. These take 833. So actually, that should be okay. So if you round that up to 1,000, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 altogether. Uh, these are output in 5, wasn't it? Yeah, so two of those, one of those and two of those, that should all be okay. Power-wise, that's where the problem is. Um, because these are 480 twice. These are 240 twice. So that's 483 times. Uh, our metal refinery is 1.2 kilowatts. So we're already up to, I think, more power than this is actually going to do. That's two kilowatts. Yes, we are. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is we are going to actually disable that one for now and stick with that. That's one thing I didn't think of was the power. Uh, you're all waiting for plastic. Yeah, we've definitely used up all the plastic we've got. Well, there we go. How about that for a new addition to the game? It's already powered up. That's good. Is that constantly using power? I'm wondering whether it is. But it's ready to be used. I don't think anybody can jump out of that yet. I bet if we cancelled. Is that already built? Oh, there we go. They're building more. If we cancel these here. Oh, they've built one in between. I was hoping we could just get a dupe to go through it. Well, hang on. No, there we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping we could just do a little bit and get a dupe to go through it. But maybe not. Let's... Oh, not enough materials. I can't do it. Well, there we go. Oh, maybe we could get a dupe to pop out there. Will that work? Can we wake up a dupe and do a test? It's night time. Let's just skip through the night and see. Come on, everybody. Wake up. Right, okay, let's get you... Right, let's slow things down. Otto, you were going to move to here. Okay, thank you very much. So come and get your suit on. Oh, actually, no. Let's get Catalina as well. Let's get two to move to here. Just to do a test. And obviously, they will see this as a quicker place. Right, Catalina. I'm going to say to you, go to here. And I want to see whether you're going to take the tube. No, you're not. I don't think that's a that. Right, okay, let's try this again. Move to here. Right. And then I'm going to get you to move to here. <laughs> I don't think that's like a valid. No, that's not a valid way of getting out and landing. Oh, that's a shame. I'm just wondering whether, just for this episode, we can do a quick test and get them to do that. There we go. I've just set up a little thing here to test this. If somebody can come and build that. Oh, they need a bit more plastic. Then there's enough space here for a dupe to drop out and to stand on that tile. Just so we can see how it works. There should be some plastic. Somebody picked some up and delivered some. There we go. There's some more coming out down here. How's this going? Is this melting? Uh, freezing, I mean. Yeah, not really. Yeah, we'll have to deal with it. We're going to clear this whole area out and get it sorted. Oh, somebody took some plastic. Let's have a look. Don't take it anywhere else. I want it here. There we go. Under construction. Yeah. We're almost there. Can you... Oh, no, you go and do what you're going to do. Yay! Right, we now have a tube with some tube access. Devon, where are you going? Frankie, I'll tell you what you're going to do. You are going to move to here. Thank you, Frankie. You are then going to move to here. Ooh, let's see. <laughs> it's going to take the ladder. <laughs> Why, Frankie? Why? No. It would be much quicker to take the blimmin' thing. Oh. Okay, is there someone else we can have a test with? I don't know why the ladder was deemed to be quicker. Okay, one more test with Frankie, and then we'll have to come back tomorrow. 
So this is all ready to go. The tube access is there. You can pop out. Right, Frankie. No, move to here. Oh, Frankie, you're so flipping quick. Move to there. Thank you. Right, once you've moved up there, you're there. Okay, good. I want you, Frankie, no, to move to, should we say here? So actually, he can't get across there unless... Uh, he could use the ladder and jump across, couldn't he? Let's just see what he's going to do. If he's not going to take the tube this time... <laughs> We could deconstruct. <laughs> we could deconstruct some blocks. Well, okay. He's not taking the tube, but it, he, they will do once we've got the full thing set up and they're coming down here, which is the which is the plan. So tune in tomorrow. Hit the big B with the tea stain to see my epic tube constructions around my base. Leave a like as well if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.